Hi guys, it's Trashy. So we're now down to our cylinder part of the uh, breakdown. So exactly how to take this apart and if you're going to swap over any uh, any pieces. So uh, in the previous videos, we've taken this off of the rest of the gun, we've removed the trigger, and now we're down to our um, upper mechanism. We've still got the scope on there and our bolt. So what you should be able to do now is just lift the bolt handle up, um, make sure that you know there's no pressure applied. Just gently slide out the bolt from the. Uh, upper part of the gun or the upper receiver uh, this is going to be covered in quite a lot of grease so if you've got any uh, paper towels or anything like that just uh, to stop it from going everywhere just give it a little wipe down uh, I'm try and get some of this off the desk as well but uh, just give it a bit of a clean um, now I have lightly polished mine with a Dremel um, just to make this outer surface a little bit smoother um, when I first got it there was um, I wouldn't I wouldn't say it was rough surface but you can see uh, some of this here there's this kind of areas where it's slightly raised so I've just kind of taken them off with a Dremel and kept it nice and clean I'm just going to remove this grease here so um, you know, I'm going to rush through this quite quickly it's quite a simple thing to do um, you can buy tools for undoing these ends um, as you can see there's there's two holes either side of this what I've got here is just some um, thin nose pliers what I'm going to do is just put the end of the thin nose pliers just into these holes um, and then give it a little twist. Um, now, this is going to be under tension from your spring, so um, you know, just, just, just apply a little bit of pressure on it just so that you make sure that all your internals aren't going to fly out everywhere. Um, unscrew it gently with your hands, there you go, and it's removed. So, um, this is the standard. Um, cylinder head you can buy replacement ones of these um, I've stuck with this one I found that it's really reliable it works um, and until I find one that you know or, or I have issues with this or I find one that's a real decent um, upgrade then I'll swap over to it so I'm just going to remove my piston and spring so as you can see here I've got um, an upgraded uh, metal piston um, and a this is an M150 spring. I'll just show you the top of that as well. Um, so it's the one with the fixed top. And it's just got a standard oving in there um, just to keep the air pressure um, consistent inside the cylinder when it's moving forward. So this just stops any air leakage. Um, and I'll just drop out my spring guide as well. So give that a little shake. This is uh, a metal upgraded spring guide. Um, I got all of this as a set. I'll put a link in the box below. Um, it's got the ball bearings at the bottom as well. And this just stops the spring from twisting under any tension. So that's everything apart. Um, just move this out of the way so you can see everything. Uh, you know What I recommend to do is uh, every time you go and play, um, is to take all this apart, you know, just, just wipe it down, remove some of the grease from it, um, make sure that there's no grit or anything um, on any of these parts. To be honest, this all feels really smooth. Um, I did take it apart not that long ago for another video, so um, all this seems okay. Um, I use these element greases. Um, to be honest, I don't really use any of the other high-speed greases that it come with. I just use this air seal grease. It's really light. Um, I'd say it's just a little bit thicker than baby oil. I just apply that to the spring, the inside of the cylinder. Um, and what I'll try and show as well is inside uh, the end of the cylinder here, um, I have actually dremeled the inside of this. So I just got an extension piece for my dremel um, and just polished all of the inside again just to give it as smooth a surface as possible to cause as least friction with this o-ring um, and allow the uh, spring and piston to move together um, forward. So um, I also use this as well. I'm not going to do it on this video. It takes quite a long time to do. But I apply a small piece of this peak um, polishing um, metal polish to a piece of tissue just give it all a wipe down it just keeps it all really really clean um, and, and nice um, I'll put a link again to online in the description as to where to get this from again as I said this is quite a quick video um, exactly the same thing for putting it back together just just everything in reverse drop your spring guide back in uh, make sure that it's aligned with the stay um, now, quite a cool little trick for aligning this with this stay is to use a very small Allen key, um, put it through this window, and just pull the stay into place, and then 
your spring guide will then slide all the way down so hopefully you can see that's in there now then place the spring in again from the top so that our spring is now in place um, fit the piston back over the top of the spring guide so it's now sitting on the end of our spring um, push that back into place I mean mine is not a super tall spring you can do it with your fingers um, let's just try and get that nice and square and then begin to turn the uh, piston head in place as soon as you've got that semi tight with your fingers um, you can give that a little turn on and then again just put your pliers in the end get it nice and tight um, and then that's your cylinder taken apart and back together again as I say just apply a little bit of uh, some air seal grease um, to all of the parts just to keep it um, you know just just to keep the surface nice and, and rust free and then again all you need to do then once you've got all that apart is slide it gently back into the cylinder and your upper receiver um, and cylinder is back together I hope that guide was okay it's rather quick it's quite basic but if you do have any questions on upgrades um, or if you have any any issues with taking this apart or as anything you'd like me to look over uh, feel free to send me a message and I will reply either with a video um, of exactly how to fix the problem you're having with or I'll send you um, a direct message thanks very much for watching um, really appreciate uh, the feedback I've got up until now so please subscribe um, and leave some feedback on these videos and rate them thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon